Hi, so here we have a problem which was shared by Mr. Thanika Charam and in this problem we have two strings, one in black and one in orange and both the strings have length equal to one meter and both the strings are marked for its length starting from zero till one. So as you can see the black string is marked as zero, one by four, one by two, three by four and one and then we have one orange string which is arranged exactly above this black string in such a way that the starting point is 1 and end point is 0 and it is arranged exactly from the point where one fourth marking of the black string is there. So I have drawn it like this but actually the string is arranged exactly above this black string and this arrangement is in such a way end which is marked as 1 is placed exactly above this one fourth marking of the black string then half the length of the orange string is stretched along the black string so this midpoint will actually be exactly above this 3 divided by 4 marking of the black string and then this orange string is folded in such a way that the second layer of this orange string is exactly half the first layer of the orange string so half of half will be 1 by 4 so this point will be 1 divided by 4 and then again it is folded in such a way that the new layer is exactly half the previous layer of the string so it can be folded in finite times and finally you will have the second end point of the orange string which will be marked as 0 and here you have to assume one thing that the lengths which are here in the folds that is this length this length or this length or this length they are actually equal to zero you are not wasting any length of the string in the folds and here we have to find two things first is where exactly this zero of the orange string will lie on this black string. So if I draw a line from this second end of the string which is marked as 0 perpendicular to the black string where exactly will this lie and second thing is which will be the point where the marking on the black string and the marking on the orange string will be exactly same. Okay so first let us solve the first problem where we have to find where this 0 of the orange line will lie on the black string. So suppose there is a tiny man who starts walking from this point and walk on this black line according to the folds of this orange string. So he'll start from 1 by 4, 1 divided by 4. Then he has to walk half the length of the orange string. So he will walk and reach till here. So that will be 1 divided by 4 plus 1 divided by 2. Then he is turning back and walking in another direction. So if I take this direction as positive, the another direction will be negative. So he is walking minus 1 divided by 4 which is half of 1 divided by 2 and after this point he is again walking in the positive direction which is half of 1 divided by 4. So this will be 1 divided by 8 then again in negative direction and the length will be 1 divided by 16 and then again plus 1 divided by 32 then minus 1 divided by 64 and this will continue. So this is actually a geometric progression where first term is 1 divided by 2 and the common ratio is minus 1 divided by 2. This will actually give you the coordinate on this string where the 0 of the orange string will lie on the black string. Okay, So this will be equal to 1 divided by 4 plus sum of infinite geometric progression whose first term is 1 divided by 2 and common ratio is minus 1 divided by 2 which is less than 1 will be 1 minus minus 1 by 2 because sum of infinite series where the common ratio is less than 1 is given as a divided by 1 minus r where a is the first term. So here first term is 1 divided by 2 and common ratio is minus 1 divided by 2. So this will be equal to 1 divided by 4 plus 1 divided by 2 divided by 1 plus 1 divided by 2 or this will be equal to 1 divided by 4 plus 1 divided by 3 and this will be equal to 3 plus 4 divided by 12 or 7 divided by 12. Okay so the point 
where the line drawn from this point perpendicular to the black string will lie will actually be marked as 7 divided by 12 and now we have to find a point where the marking on this orange string will be same as the marking on this black string that point will actually lie between 1 divided by 2 and 3 divided by 4 that point will lie somewhere over here see this is the point 1 divided by 2 which coincides with the point or the mark 3 divided by 4 on the orange string and the 1 divided by 2 that is half mark on the orange string coincides with the 3 divided by 4 mark on the black string that means the middle point of this section and this section will actually be the same and that will be the average of 3 divided by 4 and 1 divided by 2 so this will be equal to 5 divided by 8 so the marking 5 divided by 8 will be the marking in both the strings which will be exactly above each other okay so that's all for this video and thank you mr tanika chalam for sharing this very very interesting problem and for many more interesting problems keep watching math smart subscribe to it and don't forget to press the notification bell because then only you'll get to know about my new upcoming videos so bye bye till then